Joining us now on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline via Zoom is Pro Football Hall of Famer, NFL MVP, Super Bowl champion, all-around great guy and a huge BYU fan, Steve Young. Steve, great to have you back on the show. How are you? Steve? Pretty good, Spencer. Jeremy, uh, Jeremy, you just get the greatest Ty Detmer impersonation, which I loved. It was perfect. You I, gave no Chris Berman. I figured it, you got that it, one. It, 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 <laughs> Nobody check this one. <laughs> I, I, I can't do. I can't do impersonations. But, uh, yeah, yeah Berman's but awesome. you get me from the office today. My wife, uh, I got. I, uh, it's her place, and I get the little corner and. We're not out in the in the equipment room today, so we're in good shape. <laughs> hey, we've all learned a lot about virtual meetings the last couple months, you know. Yeah, no, I'm in I'm I'm in pole position today, so enjoy the, <laughs> Steve, enjoy the background. St- yeah, Steve Young, front and center on BYU Sports Nation. Times are good, Steve. As we were coming back in, we're talking about BYU being off to their first five and zero start since 2008. They're number 12 in the polls. The schedule hasn't been there, but it's almost like national pundits have said. Uh, they're they're forgiving of BYU because of what BYU wanted to do initially. What do you think about this five and zero record? Are you buying the Cougars as a dark horse college football playoff team? Well, why not? You know, it's a crazy year. It's everything's uh, backwards, and you know, for us, we've already won um, in my mind because we've we've gained a tremendous amount of perception, if not reality that uh, we're players again. I mean, that Navy game, the whole country watched it just because we hadn't seen anything like, you know, and there hadn't been anything on TV. So the whole country watches, uh, and it was a great, you know, it's just a showcase for what Kalani's wanting to do, right? We get more explosive. Uh, we got a great quarterback. It just felt like, you know, what we talked about on this show many times. Like, we don't, I don't want people to say, oh, we just want to honor the old players and what we used to be. And, you know, no, what we want to do is collect all of that stored up money in the bank that we have on who BYU is, what, you know, who, who, who we represent, what we represent. And then we go out and show that and people always go, Oh, that's BYU. And they have, we, and it, and it, and it kind of, um, you know, not only is it externally, people kind of feel that it's internally too. It's like, yeah, that's who we are. And it starts to feed on the players and that they kind of respond. And that's what this year has really been about. And I love that. And every week, you know, uh, there's only a couple of college games. Now there's more and more this week in the next couple of weeks. But we've had kind of exclusive national uh, focus, and we played really well. And so I think in people's, you know, back of people's minds, remember, as an independent, we that's our lifeblood, right? We need ESPN and the people in Bristol to go, let's see, BYU, that's just, this, is how, this is why we signed them. This is why we do it. And, uh, and that's all positive. So that's, that's money in the bank. That's good stuff. And now you talk about into the future, you know, um, uh, uh, talking, I was in uh, for the Cowboy game on Monday night and we were talking, people were talking about BYU, you know, people are just walk up and say, Hey, what do you think about BYU? So it's a, it's in the people, it's in their minds. Now, do they think that they're going to go play Cle- Clemson and play well, or, you know, people, we would love to see it personally. You know, I would love to go and find some, you know, team that we know is really good right now and just play them. Because Zach is going to make it possible. You know, I don't want to say it's just Zach because we know that we got a lot of great players. But we we had some injuries at tight end. We have some people that were replacing. We just have a lot of guys. So if you pay close attention to BYU, it feels like we have the ability and we just need the the opportunity. And no, we're not going to get it. We get one in Boise State. We can't have any screw-ups. Now, let me tell you right now, I hate to tell you that we cannot have any screw-ups and we can't. We, I don't want any wacky. Uh, uh, I, I even last year I can't remember who it was. Was it Florida? South Union, Florida, Union, USF, Michigan, Central West Florida State. I can't remember <laughs> what it was. Some crazy Akron, Akron State. I mean, what was it last year? Toledo. I it out of my mind. Yeah. I, oh, right, right. Toledo. We just can't have any Toledos. And uh, uh, but again, if it happens, we've got a man. I'm super happy with what how we've handled COVID, what Tom's done for the, for the scheduling. It just shows us a scrappy. It's like a lot of positives, but what can we do in the end? Yes, we can get into new year's Eve a new year's day. We can, I think we go undefeated and, and uh, things break the right way. There's I, I think we can. And I, I just don't want to, we, we all get, all of us Cougar fans get a little wacky when we get the blue goggles going. It's a little nuts, you know? Sorry. What, uh, sorry. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, 
it, it's very exciting right now. It it feels you guys? it feels like the glory days. BYU's putting up a ton of points, doing all this. Certainly, the schedule has helped BYU in this way. Originally, it was really hard. And Steve, I, I've said, listen, right now it's more about how BYU is playing than who BYU is playing. Because if you gave a non-Power 5 team, you said they're 5-0 and and they've done this, should they be 12th? Most teams, is a, it's a no. But BYU's brand has helped them get to that point. Being on ESPN, like you said, has, has gotten to this point. Led by the play. Oh, go ahead. Well, like Jeremy, it's just, it really is basically who we always think we are. And if we don't act that way, it's, it's, to, our, it's to our detriment. And I've begged Kalani over the years, like, Kalani, you don't understand what we can collect and how you can tell your players and how everyone can respond. And it gives you space. You can actually have, you know, uh, lose some games if it looks like BYU. You know, if it looks like who we who we are, who we always were, who we are. And so, uh, uh, and I think we always, that's, Jeremy, your point is we're responding because it looks like we have a quarterback that can be one of the top of the country and we're running it around. We're, we're very explosive. Uh, and even our running game is explosive and it just feels like who we are. And I think that's just, that has got to be our North star forevermore. If we're going to, you know, we're not going to run the, we're not going to run the wishbone. We're never going to go <laughs> where there's things we just will not do. Even though we got super close to that, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> we, won't, we won't talk about that, but you know, uh, it really does feel like we're where we should be. And that's, uh, that's going to be good in every direction. When BYU is great, they have a great quarterback. And right now, Zach Wilson's playing at the highest level a BYU quarterback has played in a long, long time. What is he doing that is making him great right now? So I don't know who's John Beck or who, I mean, I, who uh, who got a hold. I mean, he was a. I saw him as a freshman. Uh, my buddy Jim Herman, who I, we played at BYU together, we were freshmen together. Jim Lee, he, Lee Johnson, myself, Jim Herman. You know, we were. Uh, Ty Mattingly and Scott Robinson, the three, four, five of us. I mean, we were tight friends. We always have been. And uh, he coached Zach up at Corner Canyon. And so uh, when he was coaching defensive line and when he played, I don't remember, it was a game, uh, one of the early games and Zach was doing something weird and crazy and it wasn't really working out. I'm like, Herm, I don't know, bro. I, I like a lot of it, but it feels like he's like, he goes, trust me on this. He has every element of grit and toughness and sense of uh, sense of place. And he gets the whole, you know, he gets, Oh, you're talking Ty Detmer was the one that really understood 22 people was never overwhelmed. and was really always this calming influence. His brain just kind of handled it. And he goes, he's like that. I promise you. And he really has turned out to be that person, but he's had a lot of uh, help uh, along the way, especially last year. It looks like John driving down to San Diego because you can see he's delivering from all different angles. He's very, he's in the moment. You know, when we talk about Patrick Mahomes and why he's so good, it's because he's so present, way ahead of his time. You, it, it, I always say in the NFL, if you're if you have a tremendous presence, and what I say about that is that you're in a moment and your mind is not cluttered, it's not overwhelmed. And the number of people running around, the blitzes and everything else happening, the crowd and and the ex expectations, the media and everything, just you actually calm through it. And you're in the play. And Patrick Mullins, remember last year when he was scrambling, he looked back at the referee because he's waiting for the flag. He's like, are you going to throw the flag? Oh, no, okay, I'll, give, I'll go run for 15. It's just the presence of mind that he's way ahead of his time. You need to play 15 years to be where Patrick Mahomes is. Completely not fair. Zach has developed that sense of presence that's coming very nicely. And I think that's why pro scouts are going to be really focused on him because he can clearly throw the football. You know, he has a great sense of long ball, uh, touch, and arm angles and different unit, but it's his uniqueness in the, in the play, in the moment to kind of know you, you kind of sense that you, as you watch in your couch, you can, you say, Oh, what about he should do up. And he does it because he's so like, you know, how hard it is to be, you know, to match the people on the couch, you know, or up, you know, <laughs> up in the, up in the I mean, how many times in my life are people yelling, throw it, throw it. I'm like, where, what are you talking about? Throw where? Well, I, don't, I don't, I don't see anything, you know? <laughs> Where, where when you when you when I'm watching and I'm like oh he should he, then he he does it that's that presence that he's got so um, I think people are get more and more excited about Zach uh, and be real question whether he stays or not has, has anyone asked him we have not asked the question yet because this is all relatively new right I mean it's just happened in the last week or two. Um, and I think BYU fans honestly are a little bit afraid to ask because they don't want him to go early because things are so good. But 
I mean, Steve, in your opinion, is is Zach a first or second round NFL draft type quarterback right now? Uh, anyone ever heard of Ziggy Ansah? Played yep. one week, played one, started one week, but then hit the hit the the the, the, the combine circuit and ended up number one in in the in, the, in Detroit. I, it, it can't, you know, won't be like that. But I think that there's no question that if he finishes the season, people get excited about him. You know, uh, a lot of scouts look around three corners to find a great quarterback. You know, and if you sense that, um, but I, I got to believe that Zach as a developmental project and his kind of knowing a little bit of he and I text back and forth and I'll say, Hey, way to go. And he'll say, thanks, Steve. You know, like the, nothing, you know, nothing too deep. But, uh, uh, I, I just, I sense with him that he probably, this would come on and he'd want to have another year to go kind of solidify it in many ways. So I, I I'd answer it for him, even though I have no idea that I suspect, uh, that, you know, uh, but I don't know. I mean, who knows? Because if it really gets hot, and let's, I mean, I, I, you know, I was on uh, KNBR here locally uh, uh, last week, and we were going through the Houston game and saying, you know, Tom Tolbert's from Arizona. He's like, well, this is a big, you know, this is the one. We'll see what you guys can do. And I'm like, this Heisman Trophy candidate. We're going down there to go in the top 10. We're, you know, and we really are, you know, and, and people are like, Heisman Trophy? What are you talking about? Like, this is kind of where we are. And so, unfortunately, we don't have the games anymore other than Boise State is there anyone else that's going to be kind of someone goes oh that's a, that's a decent win is there anybody else San that's, Diego uh, State potentially San which Diego is State a little December bit, right? 12th at home which is so, might be a snow game yeah I don't know that's not going to help either so you know you got to figure that Trevor Lawrence who is an incredible player I mean honestly just uh, I Trevor Lawrence you know everyone's trying to lose for Trevor and I, I would understand why <laughs> you know, that's uh, if the Jets get that spot, there's no question you trade Sam Darnold immediately and go for Trevor Lawrence. I mean, the guy's an incredible player, so he'll win it. But we're going to have a little fun kind of trying to press him. And we should we should start a campaign. I mean, these campaigns are legit, you know, uh, and let's 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 not be bashful about it. Because I think Zach will fill in uh, behind it. You know, I mean, I don't think he's going to fade at all. Uh, and by the way, uh, I see the Steve Young uh, T-shirt. Jeremy, I've mm-hmm. never seen that t-shirt before. Yeah. And I don't know if that looks like uh, Mitt Romney hair. I mean, I don't <laughs> really know what's going on. Here. Good hair. Do you like the uh, hair or no? But at least the ball is in the left hand because most of the stuff, when I, I have a, you know, a, a bobblehead doll or something, they it, they don't have a lefty version. You know what I mean? So I'm always I'm always righty. And it's, it's just nice that uh, hair is nothing. I, my hair, by the way, if anyone wants to spend a fun uh, two, two, three hours on Twitter, just type in Steve Young hair. And then <laughs> you, you will not believe the tour that you will have of, of, uh, of joy and, and, and gladness. It's good stuff. Of joy and gladness. Steve, I'm so glad that you have joined the Twitter party. It's, uh, yeah, it's, welcome. It's, oh, yeah. No, I barely, oh, you guys know this. It's bare. It's barely t- tiptoe, tiptoe. <laughs> my, my oldest, my boy, Braden's, you know, he's very much into social media. He's like, dad, you're terrible. You know, you don't, you don't do it. I mean, you're just terrible. Yeah, you got to you gotta have good content. You got to get content. Steve, I have more you know? followers than you. So does Spencer. What what the heck, man? We we need I'm, to promote I'm, Steve Young's I, Twitter I'm, account I'm, right now. Tiptoe. Tiptoe. <laughs> you have 22 <laughs> tweets, and your last one was October 5th. Yeah. Just what? Once a week. Once a week. We'll start. Well, I, took, I, I took a picture of me in the, in the uh, was it the, the Lambo Stadium? In Green the Bay. Last five, other than the Cowboy game, the last five weeks, no joke. Completely. And when I say empty stadiums, no one, zero humans, except for me. I was like the. I was a. I was the. Only, in fact, I'm the only uh, fan that's ever sat in a Raider home game. Wow, <laughs> that's had, true. And an attendance of one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's me. And I you- had my feet up. My feet up. I'm watching the game. I'm looking around like there is no one. I'm the only one watching the Saints Raiders game. And I'm like the first fan in the history of the Raiders to ever at Las Vegas Raiders to ever watch them in the stadium. I feel like should, I should get some kind of a promotional prize, you know, some kind of a, you know, year supply of something. You know what I mean? Like it feels like I should get your supply of daggers or something. You feel like the kind of guy that would be a Raider. So, oh, wait, no. Yeah. Oh, oops. Right. <laughs> Steve Young with us on BYU Sports Nation. Steve, Zach Wilson is pacing to uh, break your longstanding completion percentage record for uh, 
uh, a season. Uh, do you feel like he's going to do it? He's at about 78%. You were at 71 plus. Do you, do you think Zach's going to break that record? Yeah. Yeah. And it should be, bro it should be broken. I mean, the game has changed and you guys are going to think this is the old man get off my lawn. You know, like it's not, it really is uh, an appreciation for how the game has changed, especially the pro game. Uh, the professional game has, you know, they can't patrol the middle of the field anymore. We've talked about this. The quarterback can't be hit. I mean, you see a quarterback hit, you know, a flex coming. It doesn't matter if it's legit or not. Um, and the safety and, pro, uh, pro, and, the, and the unfair fight with defense, it's really kind of ridiculous. I used to say in the pro game, nobody's open. In the college game, everybody's open. That was my memory. Now, in my mind, the pro game has become so much more like college. There's so little time that coaches and players get. It's very college-like. A couple of OTAs and a summer camp, that's exactly like college. And so the game has really opened up for Kyler Murray and Lamar Jackson. And, and they're, running, they're running what they ran in college. And so you're going to see the pros. The NFL is going to have, you know, I don't know if you'll get to 80% completion. You know, uh, Drew Brees is getting close. But I think you're going to get some 72s, 73s, 74s in the pro game. And in the college, I, I think it's, you know, there's people open all over the place, more than even past college. You know, like when I say college, everybody's open back in 1980, 1983. Uh, you know, everybody, everybody looks open to me. So I, I, I feel like it, 78, yeah. But I think an 80 is coming, 83. I mean, there's you know, the records – for quarterbacks, pro and college, in the next five or ten years, they're all going to go away. I mean, when I when I came when I'm when I was taking over Jim McMahon, Jim Luck with seventy two NCA records, seventy two. I mean, it was it was crazy. Uh, I, I think you're going to see no one will ever own that many records ever again because Jim was throwing when no one else was throwing, right? So he could he you know there was no competition. Now you're going to get all kinds of competition and who's throwing the ball around, but uh, you're going to see every record broken in the next five to 10 years, everything. And you name it. If there's, if there's a record out there that from 19, eight, like my completion percentage, it, it is going to go. If it doesn't, then something's super wrong. <laughs> Steve, it's great to talk to you. Great to laugh with you. Yeah. Spencer, I'll tell you, I, I am no joke. You know, I, I, because I feel so healthy and, and you know, I'm running and I'm throwing, I'm doing, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I'll, I'll come back and break the record. I mean, today, <laughs> nobody gets hit. The, set, the, open, the middle of the field's wide open. It used to be a death death zone. The flats, no one covers the flats. You you know, and you sit back there and just let her let her rip. I, I you know, so many easy yards for the quarterback to get with his legs. I'm like, what? A, you know, it'd be like, uh, what is this movie like? Uh, uh, Benjamin Button. What was that? Uh, uh, was that yeah. the one? Yeah, yeah, yeah serious right. case, yes. Benjamin Button. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's the like one. Work backwards. I don't know. You just, I got too much time on my hands. Hey, no, forever young. We appreciate the time, Steve, and uh, unfortunately got to wrap up. But man, it's good to catch up here. Let's do it again soon. Uh, let's do it. Put the goggles on, boys. Let's go. <laughs>